Okay, okay, so continuing on. Just when I thought the Kickstarter campaign had failed. Wow, yeah, well, you know, I guarantee you some of the the, the mugs and t-shirts are probably... Uh, probably not even in production yet, to tell you the truth. And that's not because of any con job or nothing. It's just because of the logistics of, oh, God, we got to get this thing out. And then once we get some whatever back, then we'll get all that stuff made. So, But, yeah, yeah, it was, it was wondering, you know, it was definitely wondering. Who are the people doing a thumbs down? Vincent <laughs> Ambrosio's extended fan. <laughs> uh, Joey Jeremiah, yeah, figures that guy. Uh, <laughs> Vincent Ambrosio's extended family. Oh my goodness. Okay, you, the guy at one one has the funniest reaction. Okay, the reason he and Chris knew each other. Okay, I was I was thinking to myself, yeah, Charles Lawrence. Damn, I should have called it before I extended that. Uh, from talking together while riding mass transit. Yeah, the the Metro North train. Wait, wait, really? Oh wow, he didn't know that. Wow, yeah, yes. Chris was riding mass transit from New York City to Connecticut every day, the Metro North, and met that guy. Became friends with him. Even discussed the show. Man, that's got to be shocking. It'd be cool if Chris like goes to the jailhouse and like talks to him. You know, with like you know where they have the guy like, kind of hiding with the camera. You know, I think I just shat my pants. Nice use of that that phraseology. I use that term not a lot, but when I do, I do I do like that phrase shat. Cord. Welcome back, Chris. You've been missed. <laughs> not even gonna say it. <laughs> Hanson is back. I'll leave it at that. Uh, hell yeah! Fuck them chomos. <laughs> For some reason, that word always cracks me up, dude. I think chemotherapy, for some reason. Chomos. Uh, they need to make a law to where they can just shoot the pieces of shit and kill them right there. No court needed. 12-year-old. They need death fast. He just wanted to review some albums with a cute kid and nothing else. Let's fucking go. Holy shit, it's back. I can't control my horny level. Random busted perv. Netflix needs this show. Oh, wow. Yeah, that would be a, a huge get. If they got it on Netflix, definitely. S that's a direction they should try to take it, you know, somebody. <laughs> no, Chris. 28 dislikes, 28 pedophiles. Lol. Laugh out loud. I watched this trailer while eating cookies. Nice. Michael Willis reference. Many people caught. Not so many successfully prosecuted. Uh, I'd have to challenge that. I mean, whew. Ta ask Alonzo Hampton Wade. He'll tell you. Uh, does anybody know what channel this will be on? Just asking because... <laughs> what? Just asking because I'm naked. Ham Bubger. Should have known. Should have known. Damn Ham Bubger. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, X Hamster TV original series. Nice. Uh, why do I know what X Hamster is? I should not. The fuck is X Hamster TV? Sponsored by Kia? Laugh out loud, bro. You had me dying. Shit. <laughs> 26 dislikes, a.k.a. the entire staff at Salon. I think that's a magazine. You know how long I've been waiting for this? Oh, my God. Wow, lots of uh, female avatars. That's always good to see. Seven hundred. Okay, so four days ago, 724 likes and 26 dislikes. Why would anyone down this video? Everyone searched this out specifically, or they were looking for TCAP stuff and stumbled onto it. Are people disliking it because they dislike pedos? Well, this is busting pedos. Maybe pedo supporters are disliking it, or people that complain about Chris being <laughs> old and fat. Boo. No, let's not say that. It's the new look, you know. It's the, the anti-metrosexual. How's that? Or maybe it's, oh, God, uh-oh, another. I have to see, Joey Jeremiah's got a thing for, uh, and I don't mean a thing like that. I mean, you know you know what I mean. I don't mean like Atlantic City style. I mean, he, he's he got a focus on, on, on uh, Ambrosio. <coughs> I think it's Vincent Ambrosio, right? Yeah. <laughs> or maybe it's Vincent Ambrosio's mother and her alternate accounts. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh... I actually think, okay, Ticks, Ticks chimes in here. I actually think it might be a few people disliking the concept, yes, 
and the occasional person looking for the predator sketch with Hansen and not understanding that they actually stumbled onto a real sizzle reel. Uh, these are ten brand new, still in the packaging predators that are just sitting there in front of us while we wait impatiently for Christmas morning. People, think of the new Hansen catchphrases we have yet to hear. Exactly. The stupid fashion mistakes these predators will make. Oh, we already picked Jurassic Park guy. Think of the food. Oh, dude, have you not been watching this video series? I've been thinking about the food. I've been really thinking about the food. The alcohol. The orange juice. The sexual devices <laughs> that I am not familiar with. The penis bump. It's a Riverside, Riverside reference. The predators will bring. Imagine all new crying, the begging, the excuses they will invent. None of them even meant to do it. Enough of the long novel rambling. Oh, come on now. Uh, I tripped and fell into a 12-year-old's vagina. It can happen to anyone, right, guys? Yeah, somebody back this guy up, man. <laughs> I need to thumb that up. <laughs> 144,000 views in 48 hours. People are excited for HVP. Uh, views will approach the Rogue One trailer numbers. Can't wait to see the weekend numbers. I would just say I was Muslim and walk out of there. No problem. Oh, I would just say I was Muslim and walk out of there. Yeah, I'm, I'm Muslim. I do not do this. It's Flagler Beach. Yes, it's time for the Hanson Smackdown. I got two words. <laughs> Role playing chat room, dude. <laughs> Fuck yes. Oh, God. Holy shit, can't wait. I know who you are, Chris Hansen, but you see, I like to call you Chris Handsome. Let's go. I just came for something to eat. Uh, Canelli reference. Appearance 1 and 2. No, actually, appearance 2. That's right, second appearance. This shit is going to be funny as hell. <laughs> what? No way. Please drop this heat and bless the streets, Chris Hansen. Just a reminder that Christ Hansen, oh, here we go. Christ Hansen cheated on his wife with a woman 20 years younger, and yet he's had guys arrested for trying to meet girls five years younger than them. Yeah, we, yeah, that we've heard that argument, of course, and it's all about scale, you know. I mean, I could see both ways, you know. He's a scummy opportunist. Ooh, ooh, eight replies. Ouch, this could get nasty. The girl he cheated with wasn't in her age, though, laugh out loud, not comparable. Yes, it is totally comparable. The average age of loss of virginity is under 18. It's not as if teens don't have sex every day. These, these guys, who are generally immature losers, are simply trying to hook up with a willing teen. Hanson stabbed his wife in the back. I definitely consider what Hanson did worse. Ouch. Teens have sex every day with other teens. A 30-year-old man trying to... <laughs> God, trying to blank a 14-year-old is fucking disgusting <laughs> and can completely ruin a child for life. Cheating is awful, but it isn't comparable to sexual abuse. Chris Hansen is literally... Come on, kids. Uh, nine. Come here, Susa. Stop being busy. There you go. My cat jumping on stuff. Okay. Chris Hansen has literally had 19-year-old guys arrested on this show. T okay, well, the one, okay, yeah, a couple of guys whose lives have been ruined for trying to hook up with a willing teenage girl. Furthermore, how does sex with a 30-year-old ruin a girl's life while sex with a 16-year-old not ruin her life? Please explain. Just because you make a claim doesn't mean it's true. What Chris Hansen did was ruin the life of his real wife, whereas these guys did nothing to a fake decoy. Keep defending sexual offenders, bro. <laughs> That makes you look rational. Sex of 30 year old is an extreme case of power and ooh, power imbalance. And there is never going to be a healthy relationship between a teenage girl and a grown man. Never. Never. A teenage girl or boy, yeah, <laughs> you gotta remember the Rabbi David Gay, doesn't have the mental capacity to handle it or recognize abuse and misuse of power. It's basically psychology, dude. And a 19-year-old shouldn't be trying to hook up with a 12- or 13-year-old either. Jesus Christ, there's such a huge maturity gap there. Oh, look, you didn't address any of my points and instead just keep throwing out non-sequiturs. Nice, non-sequiturs. I, 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 I kind of know what that is, but I've, I'm sorry, it's my obsession. i got to search. Okay, non-sequitur. A conclusion or statement that does not logically follow 
from the previous argument or statement. Okay, non sequitur. Okay, nice. Uh, what? What? Oh, don't hurt yourself. Okay, okay, get, get back on it, man. Uh, including one-time sex would ruin a girl's completely baseless and... Oh, oh, gosh. Okay, we're getting... Okay, yeah, they go back and forth. Okay, back in the saddle, baby. Teacap's back. Hmm. <laughs> I must go shopping. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah, he gets it. When does the start up again? Sometime in September. All the thumb down, folks. Uh oh, come on. Stop, stop, stop. Uh, shh. Okay, uh, let me do a time check. Wow, says I've only done 10 minutes. Crazy, right? God, I'm going to have to check this video. I hope I didn't miss chunks. Uh, sometimes September. Okay, all the thumb down votes are pervs. Who else noticed the Mr. Robot music? i got to look that up. Well, it's, it's waiting for me. Well, let's look at this real quick. Mr. Robot, summer bummer. Mr. Robot. Oh, it's a TV show? Young as oh, it's a movie. USA Network. Oh, it's a TV show. Okay. 98%. Wow, dude. I want to check this out, dude. You find dude, I'm telling you, just being in this community, you just find out shit, you know? Like the, what's that television show that Dustin McFedger's a fast lane. Fast lane, dude. That's an awesome show. Oh man. But I heard they changed the music on the DVDs, but you know, oh well. Okay, holy shit. Hey, where's the icons? Come on, internet. Okay, holy shit. Um, when is the show going to be released? It's a question. 25 down votes from Child Predators. Yeah. They let that dude that close to her laugh my ass off. God. Here we go again. My mom and I still watch the To Catch a Predator and Predator Raw episodes. I saved on my flash. Wow, smart. I'm so glad he's back. I'm going to ask the same question I asked on Facebook. I wonder if any of the previous pervs from To Catch a Predator will show up on Predator's hands. And I don't think so, because they're either in jail or they are, they're already on the registry. So, yeah, you know, they probably won't. It would be, yeah, it would be uh, phenomenal if that did happen. It'd be an event, that's for sure. I'm so ready for this. <laughs> I was in the first season. <laughs> nice. Oh, nice. Uh, is it just me, or did Chris Hansen forget to take his slim fast? Oh, another Hansen slam. Look down his shirt. Look at his gut. That's a Riverside reference, just in case you didn't know. That's where that, that uh, let's just say that individual, the high school student, says. She's describing Walter Babst, and he's like, he'd look down our shirts or look at my butt. Oh, God. Sickening. All right, is it just, okay, uh, he was just getting something to eat. Didn't he get busted for doing the exact same thing? No. <laughs> nice answer. No. Just no. He dated a 25-year-old or something. 25 is legal? Since when? <laughs> nice. That's pretty funny. Okay. What's the tune at 106? I guess it's Mr. Robot. Can we just shoot these sick fucks? The real question is, where can I get these decoys number? They are currently 18 and legal. The old decoys are like, what, 30 now? Oh, boo. Casey will always be 18 in our hearts. And Emily. And uh, Samantha. You're a real pal. Thanks. Yeah, that's uh, New Jersey. New Jersey on, on the beach reference. Just email decoy69 at preferredjustice.com. That's her email. Make sure you send naked pictures to her. She won't reply. These people in charge of audio and cameras need to be fired. Other than that, so happy to see Chris back. I think it was just the editing. They got it, you know, they they did that on purpose to, you know, I've already discussed that. I've been waiting for years. Daddy Hanson, make a return. Oh, my God. Mr. Robot soundtrack. Okay, yeah, so it is a TV show. It's a soundtrack. When is this coming out again? Uh, sometime September, I believe. That's what it says. Or the one the commercial today said. Oh, yeah, five days ago. That's That's right, so. NBC or MSNBC haven't picked this up yet? Why not? NBC fired Chris for cheating on his wife. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Well, you know, they had to, I guess. 22 Predators dislike this. Do it for the kids, Chris. Fuck yes. Get, get me, Chris? What's he? Is he challenging, Chris? Thank you, Mr. Robot, for the soundtrack. Netflix, you need to get on this and pick it up. Fuck 12. Oh my god, it's back. Laugh out loud. Mr. Robot music in the background. 
White men love. Oh snap! <laughs> Shake my motherfucking head. Okay, I can, see. I know acronyms. Actually, white men were represented in almost the exact percentage of the population they constitute out of the 300 men caught on the TCAP show. Blacks were underrepresented, and South Asians were overly represent overrepresented grossly. The show was jokingly called To Catch a Sikh <laughs> for a long while, since so many Pakistanis, Indians, et al., et cetera, showed up. Latinos were a little overrepresented, but five of 12 stings were held in California and Florida, so that was to be expected. The reason there are 10 out of 10 whites in the HVP episode, oh, that's right, that's right, because the sting was held in Fairfield, Connecticut, a quite white area. Complex gang. Everyone saying he's age need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> get him, get him, dog. SX196. People age. You're all going to get fatter and older someday, whether you like it or not. It's all part of life. Just be happy he's back. Yes, I can't wait. I really hope this gets green lighted. At 110, the guy who says no, Chris, he kind of reminds me of the rabbi from the Fairfax County, Virginia episode. Imagine if Chris busted him again. This looks so goddamn good. 21, okay, you can see the counts going backwards in time as we uh, as we go to the earliest. Oh, I can't wait to see who commented first, you know. Well, it was I think it was probably Tix himself just as an introduction thing, but, you know, I'll, him notwithstanding, we'll find out. That'll be interesting. Who who saw it first, you know, Her first to comment. 21 sickos, thumb this down. Got to catch them all, Chris. Nice. Pokemon reference. Guys, the dudes were just there to look at real estate, <laughs> and they really thought the girl was 18. That's what it said in her profile. We've all been there. I thought she said she was 53. Chris looking like he... <laughs> oh! Chris looking like he ate a 13-year-old. <laughs> oh, man, these Chris Hansen slams. Dude, I'm telling you, man, your physique does have an effect, man. It is true. It's true. It's, it's biology. It's nature. You know, it's, you know... Hey, that's me. Oh, no, it isn't. Please, check out my channel. All right, tentacles. I'll give him a shot. Let's see. Open link, new tab, real quick. I'll give him the once-over. Okay. Uh, okay. No. Okay, that's cool. At least I can say I did it. At 136, look at the old guy creeping on the left. Oh, dude, that's Ron Knight. That's, um... Uh, you know, Chris Hansen's security. Well, he's actually, you know, he's, he's head of security for a lot of things that Chris Hansen does. Pretty much all of them. Uh, so, yeah, that was uh, Ron Knight. Is that Mike Ditka at 111? Uh, yeah. yeah. When does this air? Finally. Can't wait. Can you imagine dating a woman and she wants you to meet her parents? So you go over to their house with her, and she says, I'll be back. I have to run upstairs. Then Chris Hansen walks into the room. Even as a 36-year-old dating a fully grown adult woman, I would be fucking petrified. No, Chris. Catch your pedos again. Let's go. 111 is the best. This guy is like, no fucking way. I thought T-Cap was gone forever. Fuck! The look on Chris Hansen's face is priceless. Okay. I gotta check this out. Open a new tab. Okay, okay, okay. It's a Charles Lawrence reference. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that is going to be good. Oh, shit. I got a newer time check. We're doing good. We're doing good. The look on Chris Hansen's face is priceless. It's like, that's right, motherfucker. Man, 137 is that look that, wow, his life as he knows it is about to change. It's just, I got to check it out now. Now that I did it with one, I got to do it again. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get to the point to where I know these time hacks. Yeah, the Jeff Stacy head drop, man. The Mr. Robot music. I got to watch that show. Guys, I'm so goddamn excited for this to come back. All the dislikes are pedos. Loving the Mr. Robot theme. I swear I've seen the kid at 124. I'm pretty sure he was in a documentary about kids in jail. Okay, let's check this out real quick. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. Okay. Uh, where am I at? Where am I? Lit. Okay. Handsome vs. Predator YouTube channel has 5,000 subscribers and 3,000 views on the sizzle reel. Oh, wow, that's right. Uh, the actual channel itself. 
you posted this after they did and have less than half their subscribers, but you have 30,000 views. Wow. Wow. Hold on, guys. I hate to, you know, I hate to do this. I hate to, hate to uh, segue like this, but yeah, I forgot about that. The actual, uh, the actual channel itself. Oh, my gosh. What would Chris be thinking? Dude, remember Watch Out Ticks? I'm telling you, Hanson will, <laughs> Hanson will take you down, dude. <laughs> you can live across the ocean all you want, man. He'll get you, dog. Okay, Capping Channel, Hanson versus Predator. Wow. Wow, dude. Ticks' channel comes above. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to wrap it up. Oh, man. Wow. Uh, hold on. I've, I've got to do this. Uh, holy cow. Okay, well, I don't see the, uh, the March update. Whoa, March. Oh, my God. I haven't even seen this. Oh, man. Uh, okay, well, hmm, snap. That was a non sequitur. Okay, i got to wrap this up, dude. The wife's getting on me, man. Oh, snap, dogs. <laughs> Stay single, dogs. I must be humble and point out that Hansen's video is not made public yet. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Watch out, ticks. Watch out, ticks. Dark waters you're swimming in. Um, it's as public as yours is public. Let's raise a few hundred thousand and get behind it. <laughs> ticks versus Predator. <laughs> First sting will be held at house rented across the street from Michael Willis. <laughs> Imagine my attempts at questioning them. There are desperate fat women out there. <laughs> Why was your freedom to bang a kid? Or, you must be Catholic, the way you're begging me for mercy from the floor. Hyped for this. Hopefully they can track the predators using so many different chat sites. No more MySpace, though. Would be exciting to see what Chris can do this time. I'm so amped for the Chris versus Charles segment. Yes, yes. But I, I think it's going to be more of police versus Charles, right? Because I, I think he bails. He just bails right out because he knows, you know. It's a small world after all. <laughs> it's a small world after all. Oh, God, I got to keep it quiet. Man. Wife just busted me out. Sorry, the last 100 views are from me. Can't wait. I hope people will catch the show. If it is a success, he will hopefully make more. Damn. Cr oh, oh, I'm not even going to repeat that, man. It's so mean. He eats the predator's whole <laughs> after catching them. Reaching middle age happens to us all, man. He's 57 years old. Laugh out loud. Still got it. Wow, 57. Yes. What? No way. I was expecting an actual predator from the film Predator. I felt disappointed. The same way these guys left. There is several. There are several parodies with the real predator from the movie floating around YouTube. That <gasps> Dr. Robot music. They say you can't judge a book by its cover, but judging by how some of these clowns look, yes, you fucking can. <laughs> Laugh out loud. I grew up with the guy in the blue hoodie. Yeah, 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 Buchanan. He had a gun, duct tape, a knife, and trash bags in a bag in his vehicle. It's been almost a year since the sting. He just pled guilty to three felonies. Can you tell us some anecdotes about Steven? That's it, Stephen Buchanan. I've made an hour-long video about his talky Facebook and so on. He had a nice girlfriend, Samantha. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. And seemed to do well, but his pedo jokes on Twitter makes me think he had leanings toward molesting children his whole life. Was it a surprise to you, or has he always been one of those people that was a little off? Honestly, it was not a surprise to me, or pretty much anyone else. That's the even more fucked up part. You were made to feel wrong your whole life for thinking something like that, and then it happens. Uh, okay. Before his family scrubbed and deleted all of his social media, I went through because I had him as a friend. His family didn't know where he was for the four prior days before he got busted. They thought maybe he was at drill. Yeah, he was in the uh, like Army Reserve or something like that. I never saw him talking about molesting kids, but did not look at his Twitter too hard because his Facebook was pretty active. I don't want to be on the news, dog. You feel me? And someone's going to say, yeah, we are filming. That moment will forever be my phone in the series. Well, it's a little late for that, dog. One of the best lines. 
Yes, we are filming. This looks even better than the original show. Can't wait. Sorry for the lack of updates, guys. I got attacked by bees again. I know I shouldn't have emailed all those naked pictures to decoy27 at pervertedjustice.com. You know I'm in trouble, and I know I'm in trouble. Chris has gotten pretty fat. Laugh out loud. It was like winning the lottery, but instead of getting money and hug from Obama, you just go to jail and never work a job again, <laughs> and you get raped. I thought he catching the alien predators, but this is cool, though. Oh, I bet some of them thought this was a, uh, you know, they saw a Handsome vs. Predator. I wonder if they if they weren't in the loop, if they actually thought this was like a parody video. Hell yes, can't wait to see the show with 2016 technology. No wonder he did an AMA on Reddit the other day. Please pray to COD this will come soon. Also, Tix, where'd you get this shit from? What does Mr. Robot have to do with Chris Hansen? Yeah, that's a good question. I don't know, but I do know that Miss Vagina is ready for Mr. Penis. <laughs> nice uh, Lauren Armstrong reference. I can show you my car. It's parked outside. We love you, Chris. Oh, God, I'm excited. Have a seat is part of the logo. We meta now. Okay, I think I'm going to have to pause this and then pick up with another one. I hope it doesn't end. Let me make sure. Okay, it keeps going for a while. Hold on a second. Let me get this one finished, wrapped up.